Indigenous Australians and Moree in northwestern New South Wales are divided over whether the voice to parliament will be best for their community. While some elders hope the voice will improve the town's crime problems, others fear it will dilute the voices of grassroots organisations. Situated near the New South Wales-Queensland border, Moree is a town with a rich Indigenous history. The community's main drawcard, the Aquatic Centre, was once the scene of a defining moment in Australia's race relations. We want our tourism back, we don't want to hand it over to the the 1965 Freedom Ride saw a group of University of Sydney students led by Indigenous activist Charles Perkins take a group of Aboriginal children to the Moree Baths in defiance of a bylaw which prohibited them from visiting pools. A lot of Australians talk about, oh yes, we, we want to give the Aboriginal a fair go, then it's full stop and it's usually forgotten. Almost 60 years on, the voice to Parliament is being presented as another opportunity for change. Not too sure. I haven't heard a lot about it. You've got to give, uh, give it a go. Moree's Indigenous community, which represents about a quarter of the town's 7,000 residents, is split. The Shire's first female Indigenous councillor, 27-year-old Michaela Cochran, wonders how it will interact with local organisations. And I notice we're always trying to be so positive about it, like this new thing that's coming because we've never experienced it. But there's also a lot of angst around it. What? Yeah, there was just too many questions and there is answers, and that's scary. She and her colleague Thomas work for Just Reinvest, a grassroots group which helps reduce Aboriginal incarceration. Wishy washy in regards to how it's going to be implemented, and um, definitely I'm worried that there's going to be a, a lack of, I suppose, transparency between communities and government. According to the New South Wales Bureau of Crime Statistics and Research, Moree Plains Shire has among the state's highest rates of domestic violence and assault, break and enters and car thefts. Indigenous Australians are overrepresented in those categories. Our Indigenous community has um, battled for generations and really deserve much better than, and much better not only in our town and shire but Australia-wide. Some elders are optimistic. Hopefully there'll be a change there to um, get some sort of regulation in here about the, the drugs that's coming into this town. Regardless of which way locals intend to vote, the majority of Indigenous Australians we spoke with said the lack of information about how the voice would function has been detrimental. I don't want to vote for people who I don't know. Not top of Queensland or anything, because I no way in the world. If we don't give it a go, if we don't get a vote, a yes vote, we will never ever know. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Moree.